Hi guys, my name is Sean. I'm a house plant enthusiast from Jakarta, Indonesia. I'm at Pak Chandra's home here and I've actually visited this place three or four times that we did not manage to film because we ended up talking about the plant market, the plant business, talk about life in general. He's taught me a lot uh, over the last few encounters and I'm finally able to film. So I'm going to be showing you his house, his collections and feel free to check out his nursery. I'm going to link that video up above where we tour some of the plants that are growing there. But yeah, today we're going to celebrate his plant collection, his gorgeous house. And he's actually been collecting plants for 30 years. So some, you'll see some massive, massive specimens of plants. Like you see the platycerium in the background here. So I'm just going to get started. Hello, Pak Chandra. Hi, Sean. Thank you for having us. Uh, would you like to show us your collection and tell us a little bit about everything, about your history, about the house? Yeah, OK. Um, where I started, I don't know. Maybe that is the uh, one of the biggest uh, platycerium mm -hmm. from uh, New Guinea, which is called One Day, Platycerium One Day. Nice, yeah, that one, right? Yeah, yeah, that one. It has been here about uh, about eight or ten years. I, I could not remember exactly when when I planted that one. No, the the one on the right is called Super Boom. Okay. It's from Australia. Platycerium, platycerium Super Boom. Yeah. yeah. It's and different. The, and the beautiful underside, like a bronze copper color at night when the light hits it, it's so beautiful. Actually, the bronze one is a spores. Oh, okay. You know, so platycerium is, uh, you know, started from very very small. Yeah. Small spores and then becoming like a like a giant. How old, you know. how long to grow to this size? I do not remember exactly, but uh, could be eight to ten years. Okay. Probably. Has the baby showed up anywhere else because it's it put up spores? Oh yeah, there's a baby there. Okay. Yeah, but it's not small. It's not baby anymore. Yeah. It's uh, much bigger now. Maybe about two years. So it flew there on its own. Yeah. Or did you... it, it just there. Okay. It, it's just like. Uh, I don't plan this. Okay. Sorry about the noise. There's a there's a car mechanic. <laughs> Sorry, but you can still hear us quite well here. Yeah, yeah. It's it's uh, it's, it's quite no noisy. A little bit. It's Sapidophora uh, megasperma. Megafila. Megafila. I'm sorry. Megafila. Mega. Yeah. Megafila. Actually, this is from from Thailand. No, uh, no, it's not not philodendron. Look like a. Look like philodendron, but it's uh, rapido for uh, Beautiful, look at the fat. Yeah. Here. Leaf. And then this like a the climber, climb, climber, but uh, terrestrial. Okay. What do you call it? Like uh, crawling. Like a, like basically like a terrestrial. So he doesn't want to go up because he gave no. it something to climb on, but he no. decided to come down. Yeah, correct. Dead. And this is not found in Indonesia or? I believe it's uh, from Thailand, you know, okay. not in, from Indonesia, because I got it from Thailand, as so yeah. I remember. But, but it could be from somewhere else. This is a philodendron pistani lobum. Yeah, look at the uh, the leaf. Yeah, beautiful. It's uh, really distinct with compared to other philodendrons. Yeah. yeah. Gorgeous form in the and look at the petiole. The petiole is kind of different. Mm -hmm. Is this, this is easy, right, for a philodendron? This is that standard. that is very easy. That is not not difficult to grow. This is considered a big one. It's grown here, but do you have the small ones in your nursery? Oh yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. So we found that this is a medinilla. Yeah. You see the leaves, and and it's a climber. Yeah, but Pakana told me this is the flowers. Yeah. That's interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Does it start seed? Do you know or? Mm, I'm not sure. Okay. I'm not sure, but this is from the Philippines. Yeah, and it grows yeah. like that from, from over there. So it's, yeah, yeah. It's a vining, climbing, medinilla. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anturium is the uh, SP Lemon. Okay, Anturium. the one hanging up on the tree. Yeah. And we have a lot, I think, in the nursery. Yeah, yeah we, we have a lot. That, that's from Costa Rica. And this is the one that uh, many people love it, the GPI. This is the Lemon. Like, no. Yeah. There's a jupi. Jupi. Philodendron jupi. This is a big one here. And this is how they like to grow in nature, yeah? On rocks, trees. Uh, trees. I think they, when they discover it in French Guyana, yeah. at least on the trees. And they don't collect it in the, in the beginning. They thought it's like the insect uh, eating the leaf. But actually, it's, it's what it is. 
Maybe it's a survival strategy to look like it's already been eaten, so the other... It other... could be, yeah, it could be. Pasta Zanum. Oh my god, this is big. This is really, really big. Yeah. And it's been here for many years. No, because I, I built this uh, garden about a year ago. Oh. Yeah. How small was it when you bought it for the I could not remember, but it's not small, you know. But look at the flower and the stem. Yeah. yeah. It could be when I planted, it's already big. Yeah. But I cannot remember exactly. So I think the theme for today's video is that a lot of the things that are not in pots, yeah. gonna grow monster size, they're going to be faster, they're going to be happier, they're going to put out more flowers. Yeah, more it's faster flower and then the size of the leaf, you can... Rhinoxy, this little Rhinoxy is also... Um, not very common in the in, in the trade yeah. in the market. This is a philodendron. Yes. Right. Rhinoxy. Rhinoxy. Yeah. Beautiful. Look at the pink around the edge. Look at the edge. Yeah, the edge of the leaf. No one would notice, but mm -hmm. wow. That's yeah, it looks like a banana, but it's not. This ruffle. Yeah. It's just gorgeous. Huh. This uh, Anturium germaniae, but it's a hybrid. Yeah. Okay. So. From local Indonesia. From local. I think Indonesia is famous for this. Yeah. Germania hybrid. They have many different kinds of Germania hybrid. Yeah. So your collection actually uh, come from many, many different places. Uh, oh, yeah. Thailand. Yeah, Thailand, US, uh, from Australia, India, Sri Lanka, Taiwan, Malaysia, Singapore. I think it's many places, you know, because we uh, have a lot of friends yeah. overseas, you know. And we'll discuss that in the next episode. Uh, okay. Some of your personal stories and how you can buy some of these plants. Sure. So this is just basically full landscape with aeroids. That's amazing. Wow. And you just let them climb. You just stuck one here and just climb on it. Yes, yes. So it's a free. Free climbing. Pipani volume cloud. Pipani volume cloud. Someone in Oh. It's a pipeni folium, Glodendron pipeni folium, but at glow, glow cost. Look at the small one and how, how they change. Yeah, you know, how they change to the uh, like a different one. Yeah, so you guys need to let your philodendrons mine. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're just entering the house now. It was actually just the driveway, believe it or not. <laughs> Ad Ado Oh, Ado Neymar, yeah. Ado Neymar. Picturata. Picturata. Yeah, I believe it's from Sarawak, but I got it in Thailand. Yeah. Look at the petioles, yeah. the color of petioles. Oh, and the back too, it's really gorgeous. By the way, we have some people here helping with the ID. Do you want to say hi? Yeah, we have some people hi. shouting the IDs. Yeah. There's so many plants here, we don't fully remember all of them, and some of them were just thrown in. So they're helping with the ID. Yeah, in case just, you hear people talking. Just too many things to remember. Yeah. And look at that, the Medinilla there. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Look at the, the flower there, Sean. Yeah. Very, very darling. Yeah, very precious yeah. little flower. So the first time I saw it in the in Mindanao, Philippines, ah. a long time ago, but uh, the owner not selling it. So how did you get it? After maybe like five or six years. Yeah. And then I got it from a friend in Manila. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. And here but this is the philodendron com something. In philodendron. Aplanatum. We covered this in last video, but this is huge. Yeah. This is insanely cute and it's beautiful for its patio. Look at the shape of the patio. Quite unique. What do you call it? Philodendron Posi Petiol. Posi Petiol. Posi Petiol. This is the Philodendron Posi Petiol. I guess because the leaf is, the patio is fuzzy, yeah, that's why. And for the background here, this is uh, Stella Genelia? Yeah, Stella Genelia. Stella Genelia. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. Chemical. He, they, they just crawl over the place by themselves. Yeah, very easy. easy. Very easy to grow. In the tropic, it's very easy yeah. to grow. And not a lot of pest pressure, mm -hmm. I think. So you just kind of, how do you care for all the plants? You just let rain down? It's, um, I use a sprinkle here. Okay. You know, it's automatic sprinkle. 
I think you missed one thing. Yeah, there, there over there. It's a uh, Leland Miano. Yeah. Philodendron Leland Miano. Is the name is under a uh, collector in uh, Hawaii, Honolulu. This is the Anturium Eminem. Eminem, like the rapper? No, Eminem. Emi Eminem. 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 Not Eminem. Eminem is the, the other the thing. Rapper. It's a rapper. <laughs> it's new leaf. You can just mark it. Opening. Yeah. Look at how beautiful that is. It's flowering and the flower comes down. Yeah. And then you should see the flower like three weeks ago. What? The uh, the spat is like, uh, what color? Uh, not blue. It's uh, purple. Wow. Light Beautiful. purple. Beautiful. Yeah. This is the uh, famous obliqua. Yeah. Mustera obliqua. Binding everywhere, blending in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's uh, climbing, yeah. you know, on the stone, on the uh, volcanic, volcanic rocks. And that is, I believe, a Palmenii, probably. Yeah. Palmenii. Oh, Mame. Oh, yeah. That size. Huge. Yeah. So you see everything here, there's smaller ones in the nursery somewhere because this is <laughs> no but not really this is a personal plan basically, right? Yeah, it's yeah. Collection. Right. Esmeralda. Esmeralda didn't say Nero. Okay, that leaf is facing back. But it's gonna turn around <laughs> after it hardens, right? This is how they grow them, they face away and then they Yeah. They face us. They're climbing the trees. Look at that. Yeah, look at all these aerial roots. Oh wow. How do you fertilize everything? Is it by nature or do you use spray foliar? In the in the last one year I didn't do anything. I just let them uh, you know grow and then um, I don't fertilize yet. Because okay. the the soil here is is, is uh, quite fertile already. Very fertile. I see that you have fish over here. Yeah. And also, we should quickly mention that you are also a rare animal collector and lover. <laughs> That's my baby. Yeah. Is the Hayashin Macau. How long have you been collecting plants? Um, maybe about thirty years. Yeah. yeah this no ID yet. Yeah. Because there's no flower yet. But where did you find this? Do you remember? Wow, I don't know. From oh, from Ecuador. Ecuador. Yeah. Interesting. Have you always started with aeroid, or do you? No, I started with palm, palm and cycad. Okay. That's my first love, palm and cycad, and then goes to aeroid, which is anturium at that time. Okay. Twenty-five years ago, for all of that. Yeah. This is some of the biggest philodendron collection I've ever seen. Look at this. This is a poly. Polypodio, yes. Polypodio. <laughs> Polypodio. Polypodio. Yes. The name is going to be on the screen. But look at that new leaf. Look at that. This is crazy. How beautiful is that? It's putting on a show for us. Really amazing. Yeah, so you have a lot of philodendrons right here. Right? That's mm -hmm. a bronze? Yes. Florida, Florida bronze. Florida bronze. This is new coming to the market. A beautiful new leaf. And one of the prettiest one is called Philodendron Linamia. Yeah, I think we showed Look. it in the last collection as well. Yeah. It's a beautiful pink new leaf. So what would you say is your favorite genus now? Oh, still, um, you know, Philodendron and Monstera. That's what I loved it in the beginning, yeah. And Anturium, of course, yeah. Anturium is very nice genus. Can we quickly talk about the fish over here? Oh, this is the, um, I, I fell in love with this fish when I was in Brazil. Yeah. It's called Black Paku, you know. But actually, they are nice to eat. <laughs> <laughs> but you haven't eaten one yet? Right? No, no, I, I won't. <laughs> Do you take the fish water for like, I mean, I guess there are a lot of aquatic plants that we see here. Yeah. yeah. But I guess the water kind of seeps the, you know, the nutrients just get to sure. the plants somehow, yeah. right? Yeah, of course, yes, yeah. <laughs> so it's like an ecosystem, you know. Sometimes I, I saw the water monitor like running around here, and then the kingfisher. If you know the kingfisher, which is the 
the bird that eat the small fish. Ah. Sometimes I saw they diving into the water, but not here in, in, in behind in the back because I have a small fish. This one a big fish over here. Right. So you are into aquascaping, landscaping as well, I guess. Well, yeah, yeah, I like everything. And we actually turn off the waterfall, but I'm going to show a picture on the screen uh, of what it looks like with the waterfall because the sound is a little bit loud for us to film. But yeah. imagine this, there's a swimming pool here, yeah. uh, surrounded by this pond, freshwater pond, yeah? Yes, it's freshwater pond, That's correct. really cool, it gives you the illusion that you're swimming. In the middle of, uh, in the jungle, <laughs> in the forest. <laughs> but be honest, but, how often do you actually swim in here? Um, uh, very rare. <laughs> uh, that's what I know. I know you. <laughs> that's what happens when you have a swimming pool. You don't. Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, but here. But my wife is swims. Is this a Pastor Gloriosa? No. Pastor Zano. Massive. Look at this. And did you go behind it? They're all Pastor Zano. That's a flower. Huge Monstera Escalado. Yeah. But you started big. Right, and then it got even bigger. Right? Not very big. Um, well, Let me see, where did I, I don't have the uh, That's the, main the first leaf, I, I believe, but not very big, not very big. But really? they grow very fast. You know, it's like one year growing one year like to get this. To this. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Beautiful Venetian on this. Look at that. Wow. And it's like thick leaves. Yeah, this is very unusual anturium, sir. Beautiful. Very nice. This is the uh, SP Lemon. SP Lemon, alright. And it becomes a tri lobe compost potion. Yeah, the this is also unusual. Campus. Yeah. Philodendron Campos, Campos, Campos Potuan. Campos, Campos Pot Potuan. Potuan. Does it get big? Uh, bigger it's than happy. this, bigger than this, yeah. Okay. But these are like a smaller leaf. Yeah, but uh, it's big for now. You can see. <laughs> but it, yes. Yeah. Amidrium. Amidrium medium. medium. Yeah. Uh, Could be. Tipo medium. Yeah, amidrium medium. But, uh, you know, the uh, many types of. Madinila, you collect a lot of this one here. Oh yeah, yeah, at one time I have maybe 25 or 30 species of Madinila. Wow. Also the one over there is with the uh, red. red leaf underneath. Yeah. It's also Madinila. That farm is uh, it's difficult to move, so it has been here for maybe 15 years now. Coming to this, this is a shower. This is, yeah. Let me get a closer look at that. Yeah. Farm. It's huge. Yeah, it's uh, Johannes Tasmania. Yeah, it's collected a lot yeah, of debris. Yeah, it, it could be elegance. Yeah, but it is it is a huge, huge, huge... Oh, yeah, huge. Did you get this it, when it was small or is it... Yeah, big? of course, yeah. Because we cannot move this this plant. It's always die when you move it. It's very sensitive. Wow. So it just stays here and it's just... Yeah, right. And, and people in the forest use this like an umbrella. If they are raining, they just cut one leaf and then use it as an umbrella. And this is a begonia? Uh, yeah. Geogenesis, maybe? Or... Uh, yeah. uh, oh, the name's going to be on the screen. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure what this is. Here. Beautiful round leaves. Some baby palms here, yeah. Yes. Is it this. baby or is this a mature palm? Uh, no, it's a, it's a small one. It's a seedling from here. Okay. Yeah, that yeah. is uh, Ken, Kenla. Um, what is the genus? Um, it's from Indonesian New Guinea. Mm, And they don't propagate well, but they do by seed, right? Yeah, they do by seed. I think I have the uh, the mother mother plants over here. Oh, okay. It's died. He said it's died. But um, you know, luckily I have the uh, the seedlings there. So you for them, do they put out pups from the? No, they only one seed. This is a single. This is a single plant, single palm, not the. Uh, this is why they're so precious because they cannot be foliar propagated. Correct. Correct. Are you a palm? I see they have a lot of palms here too. Yeah, there are some, some palms over there. You mentioned you started out collecting palms. I, yes, what I started out, correct. I still love plants and cycads. <laughs>
show you not how would you call this a showcase of aquascape a whole ecosystem back here in the backyard there's, again there's usually waterfalls i'm going to share some images on the screen mm -hmm. of the waterfall running and the water that's just always ever so slightly blue there's fish living in, in there and a lot of aquatic aeroids is there mostly aeroids mostly aeroids yeah mostly aeroids and they are aquatic right correct i actually don't even know they look at this camel horn but can these live in pots or not yeah i, I think can, so right? yeah i think so Oh yeah, and the at night they're very noisy the the frogs, but I love the the frogs that are uh, making noise at night, you know, because like uh, living in in the forest. Yeah. And do you want to talk a little bit about that? I oh yeah, that is a is a gift from my uh, German German friends who lives in Costa Rica, yeah. and. He got it from Panama. It's called Zamia pseudo, pseudo parasitica. Yeah, it's the only cycad that uh, living on the trees. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. And you have one, and you have two, right? I have two. It's, it's supposed to be male and female, but uh, we never pollinate. Okay. Yeah. Has it flowered? Or? Yeah, they, they they flower sometimes. Wow. Impressive. <laughs> And there's some yeah, tree the ferns in here, yeah. and some Cytospermaya over here. Um, no, it's Anubias. Anubia. Yeah. That's beautiful. What is this? That's from the uh, forest from Western Borneo. I'm I'm not sure what it is. It's not Argus tamer. No, not. There's a lot to hover here but we're not going to be able to yeah this also from the forest in western borneo over there yeah. look at that that is interesting it's so beautiful. it requires very moist conditions i'm guessing or? no because i just planted in the uh, in the pot and then they're happy it's like they easily easily grow and then uh, they look like not demanding Oh yeah, they, they, yeah, that is the flower. Is it a pilea? Do you know? Maybe. Or... I'm really not sure with that. And then the, that one also from the jungle. It looks like the same uh, genus, eh? because judging from the from the flower, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of people have come here. Of course, with your appointment, a lot of people have come here to enjoy this, to be inspired by this environment because this is a very very good example of an ecosystem where you can have landscaping and aquascape and then of course this is the house in which she lives in so this is such a blessing to live in an environment like this there's an amidrium zippelium i think that was yeah there. correct and there's a lot yeah i think there were there was an amidrium zippelium look at that they are climbing like i don't know maybe seven eight meters yes. above the ground yeah this is probably there for um, I would say maybe 12 years. Okay. Do you feel attachment to the plants? Here? Oh yeah, because if in the morning, drinking coffee and then you're watching something like this, it's, it's, it's priceless, I think. For me, at least for me, that one is um, from New Guinea called something with P. Uh, por uh, Portilla, no? Portilla? Portilla, yeah. yeah, yeah. And you have a lot of tree ferns. Yes. They provide shade. Right for the plants below. A lot of philodendrons here. And the anthurium, some of the magnificum and then regale over there. That one, Sean, you see? Yeah. This is a regale, right? Uh, magnificum. Look at the size, Sean. The, the leaf is growing like that. It's maximum, maximum size, I think. Oh yeah, that is a Hamalia. That's a, one of the biggest one. So Look at that. The biggest, one of the largest Yeah. Well, um, Which one? Yeah, okay. Let's have a look. It's very, very cute. Yeah. I, mean, I usually see small ones. This is already big. Yeah, it's already big. Already flowering, maybe. Uh, yeah. Yes. Look at that. There's a. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. a flower there. Flowers, you yeah. can see. 
It's called uh, uh, Ham Greg. Si, Cytosperma Hambaliae. Hambaliae because of Greg Hambali? Or? Yes, it's under the name of our friend Gregory Hambali. Yeah. And uh, they are aquatic, semi aquatic? Yeah, yeah. Cytosperma is actually is a semi aquatic plant. Yeah. Do you like full sun or? or Not shade? really full sun, with the shade. Shade, yeah. Yeah, with the shade. This is endemic to Indonesia? Or? Yeah. Here we can discover some species here. This looks like it's an apischia with the flower. It looks like a species. I, I can't remember this Indonesia or Ecuador because uh, you know so many things that I got in the last maybe few years. Yeah. But uh, we're not sure. Look, look. With the flower, with the pink flower. Look at that. That one is the Medinilla, yeah? No. no? Oh, begonia. Begonia, a begonia yeah. flower. That is an interesting begonia too. Look at the shape of the leaves. Mm -hmm. So interesting. And I can't get closer unless I want to fall into something. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much of this. This is like a botanical green collection. Yeah. Have you... Most of the time they propagate themselves here too. There's nothing you can do, right? They just oh yeah, we can we, we can propagate. They, we propagate our plants into our right. It's yeah. Some plants from here. Okay. You know, from the garden. This is really where they thrive, rather than in pots, right? Yeah, like you, you can see the uh, the maximum uh, beauty here, you know, right? Because they're free, not inside the pot. Yeah. And maintenance is easy here, right? It's almost free maintenance. Yeah. yeah. Do you have any pest issues here? Or? Oh, no, no. People say like, uh, do, do you... Do, do they have like a lot of mosquitoes? You know, sometimes yeah. they ask me about that. Yeah. But you know, that's why the the, the small fish is doing here. Yeah. They're eating the uh, the, larvae. the larvae of mosquitoes. Yeah, it's not free of mosquitoes, of course, but uh, not really a disturb us. You know. But I'm noticing, like for your plants, there's not a lot of pests at all, and I'm noticing you don't use chemicals here. No, no. So Actually, I don't feel the rice. I don't fertilize this. I, as long as I remember in the last four years, yeah. I never fertilize. Maybe they just got it from the leaf and then, you know, yeah. I just leave it. The leaf in there just drop. I just leave it there. Yeah. Animal I, I just clean it today for you because okay. you are filming. <laughs> Hello. Oh, you're on camera. Oh, I'm here approaching you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's not even, it's not even tied. No, it's free. I, I never tied my birds. Wow, and this Every bird is also open. Look at the, <laughs> look at the, the drawer is open. Wow. So they are freely going up and down, whatever they wanted. And they know to come back here. <laughs> <laughs> so we are entering the aviary. It's really cool. We have a dining table here and can view <laughs> over here. Yes. Huge, huge aviary. I don't know what these birds are, but try not to get too close. It's a crown, crown pigeon. Okay. Yeah, I got them from baby, so it's not afraid to human. It's two guys is from baby. But yeah. won't two guys fight? Or no. Or no, they are famous of uh, very peaceful. They don't fight each other. So. You have some, uh, this is a painted lady. Yeah. 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 So you do put your arrows in here to live with the bird. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Everything with arrows. The little ducklings there. The Dark Lord. Yeah. yeah some Billy tie back there. This is probably one of the tallest yeah, BLTI see. in the country. <laughs> maybe. maybe. <laughs> and it's living in an aviary, who would know? <laughs> <laughs> and the birds leave it alone, they don't poop on it, they don't no. chew on it. They don't they don't disturb anything from it. This is the Adolomena picturata. Okay, the name is going to be on the screen. I discovered this in the aviary, covered by bird poop. But look at that. Beautiful, <laughs> covered with bird poop. Beautiful, beautiful thing. Well, thank you so much for having us uh, in this home home aviary here at Nursery Tour, <laughs> Mr. Tandra. So, thank you, Sean. Uh, we will move on to the next episode where uh, Pakano will share some of his private stories about some of the plants in his collection over the years. So, yeah, be on the lookout for that in the next episode. Thank you so much, Pakano. Thank you for having me. Thank you.